system of every magical item in Fairy World! And this is my dowdy secretary, Wanda! My faithful butler with big teeth and a cast iron bladder, Timmy! Along with my human trophy wife, who is clearly not hypnotized, Brittany Brittany! I like soy milk! Uh, where do I sign in? And where do I go to use bathroom? I told you to go before we left! No, you didn't! You told me there is no way we're dressing up like a butler and a secretary just to cover for the lies Cosmo told people. Then Cosmo started to cry, and you said, oh, okay, and now we're here. Relax, butler! We mingle, impress a few people with my false life, and we're gone in 15 minutes tops! Uh, what? The doors are just painted on? need doors in a fairy high school. We poof from room to room. Doors are for chumps. Okay, I really have to go to the bathroom, but I'll be okay as long as I don't think about it. Well, this could be okay. Want some punch? I like puppies. Great, go get us some, butler, and bring my trophy wife a puppy. Cosmo, is that you? <laughs> Cosmo, you old son of a gun. You haven't changed a bit. <laughs> Except for being a billionaire and everything. All right. Uh, hi, Luther. Have you met my wife? Brittany, Brittany, who has clearly not been hypnotized into thinking that I'm Chip Skylark and that this is the Dimsdale Music Awards? Right, Chip. And, of course, you remember Wanda. She's now my dowdy, unmarried secretary. Sure, I remember, Wanda. <laughs> Too bad you didn't marry Cosmo, huh? He's a billionaire, you know? It says so right here in his magazine. Cosmo! Too bad you're already taken. Yeah, too bad. I suppose you know why I'm here. Don't kill me! I'm rich! Can I have a job? Surely a rich guy like you could use some security. <laughs> you bought that? Oh, my God! People really believe I'm super rich and super powerful. Cosmo! You're hired! Now get rid of my dowdy personal secretary! Come on, move it, move it! Ah! And where's Brittany's puppy? Finally, a bathroom! I forgot! Doors are for chumps! 
Okay, I just won't think about it and I'll be fine. <laughs> But what the heck, you're hired! Oh. <laughs> oh, Cosmo, why didn't we see how handsome and cool you were in high school? Why did I beat you up every day? Because I wasn't rich? <laughs> That's right! Excuse me, Cosmo, I wish... To serve my friends and I more punch? Uh, yes, please, Timothy. <laughs> he thinks the doors are real. <laughs> How much longer I can keep up this charade? Wanda, I don't mean to sound like you when you try to ruin my fun, but we should get out of here. Now, lying is a bad idea, you know? And holding it in is bad for my kidneys. Excuse me if I sound as short-sighted as you always do when I say, come on, what else could possibly go wrong? And I also invented oxygen, which is why every time you inhale, I get a quarter. <gasps> Pay up. Hello, Cosmo. Juanissimo, what are you doing here? You perhaps forget the one year I was here as a handsome exchange student from Ferdinando High School? Because I will never forget. That was the first time my beautiful eyeballs saw the fabulous Wanda. The first time my beautiful ears heard her. The first time my beautiful colon. Well, it's more of an inner beauty, but you get the idea. And now I and my beautiful body parts wish to dance with her. Hey, buddy, stay away from my wife. Wife? <gasps> Pay up. Cosmo, relax yourself. I would never try to come between you and your wife. The fantastic pop diva, Britney Britney. Pickles. But you cannot possibly care if I dance with your dowdy or merry personal secretary, no? No, he can't. Ah, what am I gonna do? Wandissimo has Wanda. Quick, let's go someplace quiet to think, like the boys' bathroom. No, I know what will help me think. A tall, cool glass of lemonade. Followed by a quick trip to the bathroom. Wait! Take me with you! Ah, <sighs> oh, that's better. But going to the bathroom is thirsty work. <laughs> no, Cosmo, you have to decide right now. What is more important, living a lie to impress fair with her friends, or your love for Wanda, the woman who's always loved you for who you really are? <laughs> Cosmo, I will love you forever. Wanda, <gasps> oh my gosh, Wanda wrote that. What do I do, what do I do? <laughs> is clear. There's no doubt what I should do. Hot tub. Then again. Would you like to see my diploma of love? No way! That is it! <laughs> ah, my beautiful colon! Wanda! Yeah! I wish! <clears throat> Could I have everybody's attention, please? Quiet! Cosmo, our hero, the greatest of us all, has something to say that will undoubtedly only make us respect and admire him and his money more. Thanks, Luther. Um, it's a funny story, actually. You see, I'm not really rich or the inventor of Wando's. Timothy isn't really my butler. He's my fairy godchild. And Brittany Brittany isn't my wife. She's just a hypnotized pop diva. Come, quiet. And Wanda, my dowdy, unmarried secretary, is the dowdy married woman I love. Hey, Mary! <gasps> Pay up! I knew it. She did marry an idiot. Oh, Cosmo! Oh, dowdy! Oh, my bladder! I can't take this anymore! Sorry, Brittany. We're through.
through. Does that mean the show is over? Did I win? I'd like to thank the Academy. And the Academy would like to thank you back. Mm. Wait, you guys aren't mad? Mad? Why would we be mad? You had the guts to say what nobody else here did. I have a secret too. I'm not Luther, captain of the football team. I don't play football anymore. I'm Luther, Lord of the Dance. This isn't my real hair. And I'm not a fairy. I'm a leprechaun. And he's not an owl who eats mice. I eat leprechauns. <laughs> you see, Cosmo, everybody wants to be liked for who they really are. Uh, I don't have to lie anymore. Ooh, what a relief. Speaking of relief, whatever you do, don't drink the punch. <laughs> Now that's what I call a crab-tastic lunch special for Pickles by the Bay Seafood Shanty and Spa. My new dream, it's finally a reality. Now let's go see what other impressive things we can find on this beach. La 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 la. Now this is what I call impressive. Timmy, how in the world did you build this? Oh, you know, with a bucket, a shovel, and... Fairy godparents! And a dream! Whee! Timmy has really impressed Trixie this time! <laughs> wow, nice castle. Let's give it a big round of applause. <laughs> hey, Turner, is this beach's official bully? It's my job to destroy your sandcastle and... And let me check my dumb gray kid's guide to beach bullying. One, bathing suit wedgie. Check. Two, replace tanning oil with cooking oil. <laughs> Check. Here we are. Three, kick sand in wimpy kid's face. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Aren't you forgetting something? Ah, no! Four! Take the wimpy kid's girl! Oh, something that hurts him on the inside instead of the outside. Bye, totally wimpy, not muscular Timmy! Too wimpy to break free of wimpy sand! <laughs> Sorry, Wimpy Kid. I'm not a lifeguard. I'm with the Dimsdale Sea Monster Emergency Response Team. And I know what you're thinking, that it's a waste of money. Well, it's not. But don't worry, Wimpy Dude. The lifeguards are on their way. Look! Somebody made a sand sculpture of Timmy's head! Let's rip his sand nose off! Stronger. Hey, that's it. I've got a wish that'll get me out of here, win Trixie back, and give Francis a mouthful of his own medicine. Sweetie, it's not a good idea to pick brawn over brains. Do what I did. Pick neither. I wish I was the strongest guy on the beach. <laughs> I don't think I could jinx us by saying that your being super strong couldn't possibly backfire. Oh no! We lost our wands in the sand when we landed! Timmy, help us find them! Quick! Right! 
You guys look over here, and I'll check over there by Francis. And maybe kick his butt while I'm looking. <laughs> Having this much fun should be against the law, which I always break, so hey, I don't care. I guess you belong behind bars. Sand bars. Oh my gosh! His newly muscled self moves with the power and grace of the Bengal tiger. Hey, what about me? <gasps> no! Doesn't anyone read this book? You won! You're supposed to take me back now. Right, sorry. <laughs> Strongest guy on the beach. Yeah, well, you're about to be the strongest guy under the beach. Hey, the lifeguards won't let you drive a bulldozer on the beach. Man, they're slow, but they look good. Oh, lifeguard schmife gone. <laughs> Who's strongest now, huh? And now, here to help me get the news coverage that will make my latest dream come true, my spokesperson, Mr. Galaxy! Now, step on the beach and cut the ceremonial ribbon, Mr. Galaxy! <laughs> wow, that was weird. But who cares? You're as strong as Mr. Galaxy. Too strong! Ah! Oh my gosh! When that guy stepped on the beach, I became stronger than him! Get away from me! You're a monster! A totally hot monster! I gotta find Cosmo and Wanda! I can't find our wands anywhere! Guys, problem! I'm huge, I'm hurting people, and I'm misunderstood! Just like the IRS! But the good news is, and I hope this doesn't jinx anything, unless a whale washes up on shore, you won't get any bigger! Come on, we've got to find those wands before something else happens! Yeah, I don't want to be a crab all the time! That's never stopped you before! Just dig! I did dig, but all I found was this old baseball card, this ancient lamp, and this guy with a big collar and a peanut butter and banana sandwich! Cosmo, I promise me you won't tell anyone about my secret underground rock and roll beach kingdom. You got it, E! TCB, man. TCB. Cosmo! I found something! Eh? Uh, let me guess, another holy grail? Yay! We got him! Hooray! I got him! Rare pink and green king crabs. For my crab fantastic opening lunch special! My dream is coming true! Somebody pinch me! Ow! You die first. Oh no! Cosmo and Wanda have become a nutritious part of Bickle's dream! I've gotta save them! <laughs> but first, who's going to save you? No one panic! That is not a seaweed monster! Darn it! What else? Go wrong? Whoa! It's a seaweed monster! Code green! Code green! This is not a drill and not a waste of money! Honest, it's not! She's with me! <laughs> One crab special coming right up! Wow! That crab looks pretty mad! If you think he's steamed now, just wait! Woo! Business is booming! <laughs> Sir, do you have a reservation? I'll see if 
I can squeeze you in. Please don't eat me. I'm too young to be an entree. Cosmo, me Timmy. <laughs> Why Timmy talk funny? Where was? By the beach umbrellas, just past those guys. We're not a waste of money. Now prove it and waste him. Revenueers! Son, it's time to defend your homestead. Uh, do you two mind keeping off my sand lawn? I know. Phew, that was close. Phew! Well, I'm a wimp again. And you know what? That's the way I like it. That's the way I like it, too. Look! Soap! Oh, where? <laughs> Guys, the seaweed monster! <laughs> See, sweetie, brain! Beats brawn every time! Little non-muscular boy, do you need help? Where were you when I needed you ten and a half minutes ago? We're slow, but we look good. Okay, gang, back to the guard station. Slowly. They do look good. I wonder. Oh, go on without me. Oh, oh. <laughs> Here I come. Tag, you're it. Oh, yeah? Tag, you're it. I'm it. Yay, I win. Uh, actually, no. The guy who's it doesn't win. Oh, well, it's still nice to be wanted. What fish game do you want to play now? Uh, how about fish hide and seek? There's no place to hide in the bowl. Uh, we could play inside the castle. There's plenty of room. Uh, nothing. Uh, no place to hide. Nothing cool in there. Hey, what's going on here? Can I go inside your house? No. Come on, I let you come into my house all the time. Like when? Name one time. Oh, good point. So, can I go into the castle? Well, okay. So, this is your castle, huh? Yeah, sure, as far as you know. Ah! Okay. Let's see. You took me to Peely Putt Sticks, Windsor Castle, Frankenstein's Castle, Hearst Castle, and Prince Charming's Castle. He sure was charming. Can I go? No! Okay, if you guys won't invite me into your house, I'll just wash myself in. Oh, you can't! It's, uh, uh, against the rules! What? Let me see the rule book. I would, but I don't have it with me. Where is it? Inside the castle. Oh, well, bedtime! Gotta go! Nighty night! Love you! Kiss, kiss! This is so unfair! Why won't Cosmo and Wanda let me inside their castle? You can't wish yourself inside! Whoa! I never realized what a great Wanda impression I do. So, how can I get inside that castle? Let's see, mini sub? No. Universal castle map? No. Skeleton key? Uh uh. Hey, my old shrink suit! Perfect! Here goes nothing! 
Password required. Uh, I... Cosmo, you idiot! Password accepted. I always knew my shrill, girly ten-year-old voice would come in handy. Oh my gosh, this place is huge! Look at all those doors! I bet they didn't want me in here because it's totally dull and boring. Eeny, meeny, that one. A giant TV room? An arcade? A Timmy's favorite food room? Complete with microwish oven? Cool! I wish I had a plate of chocolate chip cookies! I wonder why Cosmo and Wanda didn't want me in here. This place is awesome! Oh, Wandissimo, you're you're doing the dance of a thousand chocolates? Uh, uh, must win race, Philip, Nickel. There's chocolate in the road. Look out, Philip! God Kid Hall of Fame? I gotta see this. I bet it's all about me. Marty Aronson, Denzel Crocker, Billy Gates, Googie Surakaya! Not me, not me, another not me! <laughs> Tina Turner? I am not in here, but I'm great! I'm kind, I'm caring! They are so dead! Ah, what did those kids do that I didn't do to get into the God Kid Hall of Fame? Why don't I just ask those kids? Access code, please. Uh... Cosmo, you idiot! You dunce! I should have married the monkey! Password accepted. Now, if I can just find that Hall of Fame again. Geronimo! <laughs> Wanda, did you hear that? I'm asleep. Philip thinks she heard a noise downstairs. Someone should go down there and look. Good luck. But Philip thinks it could be some sort of burglar. Cosmo, we live in a magical castle underwater in a fishbowl in a ten-year-old's room. But the golf ball found us, and Philip thinks it could be some sort of magical nickel thief. In that case, I wish you a lot of luck. Wandissimo, tell me more about nougat. Fine, but if it's the pizza guy, I'm keeping it all for myself. Be brave, Philip. Be brave for the two of us. Let's see. Maybe it was through here. Ah! Here it is. I guess any one of them will do. I wish these three god kids remembered Cosmo and Wanda and were out of their frames and here with me. I am Pierre. I'm Sammy. And I'm Marianne. Hi, guys. My name's Timmy. I'm Cosmo and Wanda's current godchild. I was sort of wondering if you could tell me what you did to get put in the hall here. I wish that all French people would be rude to Americans, you stupid pig boy. Whoa, how'd that get you in the Hall of Fame? Sacre bleu! You ignorant toad, you are in the Hall of Infamy, which is the opposite of fame. We are not the best god kids, we are the worst! Really? Sure. I'm here because, uh, well, you ever notice how tornadoes always hit mobile homes? I wish that. I hate them metal houses. Shh, someone's coming. Hello! Philip and I want to know if any magical nickel thieves are hiding in here. If so, please speak up. Know what I'm in here for? Sneaking into the castle and stealing a magic wand. Yikes. I don't want to see you end up like me. Here, give me the wand, and then if we get caught, you won't get in as much trouble. Gee, thanks. She's right, you are a stupid pig boy. Now all I need is Wanda's wand, and I can get revenge on those two for deserting me. 
You know what might work better, Mashari? What? Voila! Which is French for, ha ha, silly girl, I fool you! Little girl, you are as slow-witted as Monsieur Big Tooth. I will be the one who takes a horrible, painful revenge on Cosmo and Wanda! Ho 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 ho! Which is friends for, ha ha! Not if I have anything to say about it! Whoa, cool! I guess since I wish them out of the magical paintings, I can put them back in! Timmy? I didn't look yet, but I wish it was a triple-decker peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Ah! What do you know? The screaming lunchbox never disappoints. Ah! Uh-huh. That's one sweet whip, yo. Hey, Chester, the cool is not for you. Last time I saw a limo that big, it belonged to that rich kid, Remy Bucks Aplenty. Yeah. What's the dilly on him? All disappearing and stiz up. Stop that. Well, I don't know what happened to him. Remy Bucks a plenty. Because you have lost the magical duel to Timmy Turner, you lose your fairy godparent. Uh, a 
AJ? Timmy? Yo, Rem Dog, what's a 411? Yeah. Knock it off, Uncoolio. There's no way he can remember that I have fairy godparents, right? Um, not unless he saw your flashback. Guess where I've been? On an uncharted desert island. You don't say. Yes, just me and my parents. And now that I'm back, there's something I want to say to you in front of a lot of witnesses so everyone can hear. He's on to us. Run! <laughs> you uh, want to say something to me? Yes. Timmy Turner! Ow! I must apologize for my ghastly behavior toward you previously. Phew! You were wiggity wiggity whack, G! I asked nicely. I want to make it up to you. So I, Remy Bucks of Plenty, have decided to be your new best friend. So, what do you want to do first? Time for class! Walking is for poor kids without rich best friends. You rich? Nope. Let's walk. You ride with me. Well, it looks like we have some alone time. You want to talk about me and my needs? After Timmy, come back! We need more special alone time and snuggling. There needs to be more snuggling. Ah, Timmy, where have you been? We were worried sick, and Wanda keeps trying to talk to me about her and her needs, and I don't care about any of those. What have you and Remy been doing all this time? After school, we hit the arcade, and then we flew to Hollywood to see a movie. After that, we drove go-karts to the Daytona Speedway, and then we had pizza flown in from Italy. Well, you know, we could do all those things for you. Not in public. That's why Remy's so cool. He has the magic of money. Oh, let me guess. You need snuggling and a new bowl. Well, students, time for a joke. Have you heard the one about Timmy Turner thinking two plus two equals five? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> Not so fast, Denzel. The brilliant physicist Stephen Hawking? My old college roomie? Come to lord another Nobel Prize over me, I suppose. Actually, Denzel, I am here to prove that there are certain scenarios under which the use of pre-transitive imaginary binomials might lead to the result described by Timmy Turner. Two plus two equaling five. Wow, you hired a genius to prove me right? Thanks. No problem. Friendship has its privileges. Don't dread, Stephen, you're right. Of course, moron. Wiggity, wiggity, whack! You gotta admit, having a friend who can wave his money around like a magic wand is pretty cool. Where's Timmy? <gasps> Nothing builds my appetite more than seeing Crocker humiliated. What you hungry for, Remy? I'm glad you asked. I'd fancy a T-bone steak and an ice cream sundae. Hey, that sounds good. Oh, huzzah! because that's exactly what my personal chef, Henri, is making for us. I guess I won't be needing this. Ah! 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 Hey, Timmy, did you hear the news? No. Your mom and dad are going out tonight and leaving you with a babysitter. So I guess you'll really need us to help you with Vicky, huh? No, not really. Remy took care of her. I'm Chet Ubatcha at Cape Dimsdale, where science will finally learn the effect of hammers to the head and zero gravity on evil babysitters, thanks to a considerable donation from an anonymous 11-year-old. Wilton, who is babysitting you tonight? Hello, Timmy. I'm your new sitter, Susie Califragilistic. Let's go bake some cookies while I do your homework for you. Hey, why so glum, honey pie? Timmy's life has been going great since Remy became his best friend. Oh, that's what I'm worried about. What if Timmy's life becomes totally perfect? He won't need us. Ah, never happened. Hey, let's not talk about your needs. Timmy, this is the greatest night of my life, and I get to... Could you lean to your left? Spend it with you. 
That's it. My life is perfect. Got a new best friend. Got the girl of my dreams to go out with me. Can my life get any better? Ow! Oh, sorry, Timmy. I'm not. In some cultures, a suitcase to the face is how you say goodbye. Really? Yes, goodbye. Yeah! <laughs> well, Timmy, your life has gotten so perfect that you don't need us anymore, so we're being reassigned. Could you guys hurry it up? The meter's running. You know Godchild is waiting. Goodbye! Yes, my diabolical plan worked. Ready? Bucks of plenty? Yes, and you're going to lose everything. <laughs> My revenge is complete. Revenge? For what? How about stranding me on a desert island, for starters? I did that to help you get closer to your parents. Well, that worked for all of three seconds until... Oh, cool! A flashback! On that deserted island, Father discovered oil and Mumsy opened a seaside luxury resort. Pretty soon, they were busier and richer than ever before. And this time, I didn't have my fairy, one decimo, to comfort me. That's your own fault! Hey, I was watching that! And how do you even remember all this? Jorgen von Strangle wiped your memory! On the island, a handsome purple coconut conked me on my noggin, and I remembered everything. Then I began to plot my revenge. That's it. Flashback's over. Cosmo, Wanda, I'm so sorry. Not so fast. One decimo! You've returned! Yes, I am here to tell you that I was that handsome purple coconut. I hit you on the head so you would end up here as part of my diabolical plan. Yay, flashback! You see, after you lost me, I handsomely and fabulously roamed fairy world living in shame for many months doing various odd jobs. Then I cared how miserable you were without my muy muy machoness. My heart cried for you, so I decided to help you no matter what the rules say. So I gave you back your memory. So you can save Cosmo and Wanda, right? Alas, I cannot. Not so fast! Dragon Von Strangle? Yes, in fact, this was all part of my diabolical plot. You see, Juan Dissimo ended up working as a cook in my favorite diner, and he is the worst cook ever! My many passionate tears would sometimes drop into the food. So I concocted this plan so that he would go back to Remy and stop ruining all my meals! So do I lose my fairy godparents or not? Of course not! Yay! I'll get you two in this cab someday! Remy, you were very, very bad, and I should punish you by not giving you back your fairy godparent. But I have a better punishment for you. You can have him back. But he has to cook all of your meals! <laughs> Think of the stomach pain! <laughs> Finally, I can get good schnitzel again. So let me see if I have this right. It was Jorgen's plot to get one Dissimo to plot to get Remy to plot to make me lose my theories. Not so fast. Cosmo, don't tell me this was all your plan. I said not so fast. I can't follow any of this. Now, which one's Remy again? Goodbye. He's ah! out. Where to all your mothers? Hooking! I checked the math! Two plus two isn't five, it's six! Six! Let us go! Timmy needs us! No, he does not! Nor does any other child! According to the rules, fairies can only be assigned to children in need! I know this is probably a bad time, but what does extenuating mean? Oh, I'm sorry. Here is what it means. I'd rather learn by phonics. I know you're upset and also on fire, but let me explain something to you. We 
my muscles, I will tussle with all those who dare discusses. A clear and present pencils to my authority. To my knuckles, you will buckles. Like a chicken, you will flatsels. For I so do love the rules, and I know the rules of me. You will learn to fear my mighty fist. If my song won't help you get the chase, and all you fools might disagree, but you will all answer to me. With this polka, I won't choke her, but first this frappe mocha. Mm, I was shocked when I awoke her to a world where kids all ruled. With my biceps, I must triceps to see the kids are now the niceps. The magic with the biceps for your jobs must be retooled. Oh, I love to get the draw the line, and you morons make me all the time. For the rules are very clear. Oh, now the time is here. Mocha is done. Pull back the fairies. Now that the kids have the reins, now we're pulling, pulling, pulling back the fairies. So I can bring them pain. Oh no! We're in a fairy dungeon! Well, nothing left to do now except some pull ups. <laughs> Now what do you want to do? Okay, Cosmo and Wanda might be gone, but everything's great! After all, I'm the president! And I get all these free pins! <laughs> you! That's right, President Turner. Ah, oh, Circus Peanuts! That's right, it's me! Did you really think you'd be able to get away with sending your kid armies to destroy Camp Lernatorium? Yeah, that's why we tore it down! And here's a commemorative pen from a bill I signed endorsing the action! Hey, thanks! I oh, darn it! That place was great! Dude, that place was lame! <sighs> it can't be lame! Everything I knew about fun went into that place! <laughs> Oh, confetti! Sorry about that. No, that was fun! You should do more stuff like that! I was taught that boring was fun, that dull was fun. Who would tell you that dull and boring was fun? Hello, son. <gasps> what the heck is going on here? Montage, please. Since the days we found him in the untamed wilds of Kansas, we have been secretly watching over Flappy Bob. Whether it was as a baby... ...or as a young man... delivered our special brand of caregiving to see that Flappy was taken care of. Even if he didn't know how. <gasps> we made sure he had everything he needed to live our, I mean his, dream. A 37-year-long dream you destroyed, Turner. Yeah, he did destroy my dream. So who are you anyway? Long-lost cousins? Distant uncles? What? And what's with the floating? We have that kind of money. Walking is for poor people. We like to think of ourselves as your godparents. Godparents with the money to give you anything you want if you just sign here. As part of the contract, you get to make the world exactly the way you want to. And all we want in return are certain merchandising rights, a few royalties, and 
absolute control of fairy world. Oh my gosh, I know what they're up to. No, you have to listen to me. I know they're the guys who've given you everything you've ever wanted, and I'm just the guy who destroyed your lifelong dream, but you have to listen to me. Boy, that came out wrong. But I gave you the pen. Forget it, kid. I know who my friends are, and I'm signing that contract. Wait. Hey, Floppy Bob. Can't you see what they've done? They made it a pawn, and clearly you were the one. They took away your clowny clothes, your floppy shoes and big red nose. Just look around. How could you say this? You were born, they decided your fate. From the style of your car, down to the foods that you ate. I know it seems they gave a lot, but I'm telling you it's part of a plot. A plot that you can stop. Stop it before it's too late. Hey, Fluffy Pop, you hear what he been spreading? The lies that he been telling? I know where this is heading. Towards turning you against them. To resent us. And resent us. Who are the villains? Yeah, don't you be forgetting. It was you, Flappy Bob. Yeah, you were the one. We protected and respected. As though you were our son. And now you're in the middle. You can fiddle with this riddle. Or you can sign this deal and trust that your wishes will be done. Where is the fun? Who should I turn to? Where's the fun? How can I learn who? Who is the one? The one I can trust to tell me what's fun. Where is the fun? Why should I trust you? He was the one. You are the one who wanted to shun everything I always thought fun. Hey, Fluffy Bob, can't you see in your heart? There's a role you play, and dude, this just ain't the right part. I know my actions weren't ideal, but how your clowny parents feel about the path you chose. Giant mistake. Uh, 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 uh. But changing my life's a risk I'm not ready to take. This nose, pants, hair, and shoes. They're all my past, and now I choose to wish for a world. A world that fits all my views. A world where I am safe. It's over, Jenna. You lose. Thanks for the pen. <laughs> Peppy Dad! I'm Happy Peppy Mom! Hmm? No! Don't make this any more painful than it has to be! Isn't there supposed to be a good cop and a bad cop? We had some cutbacks. Now, do you want to stay in fairy jail for the rest of your fairy life? Or do you want to blame Cosmo? No! Please! Okay, good cop over. Blame Cosmo! Blame Cosmo? I was lost till he found me. And although he confounds me by his crown is where I know I should be. Yes, I know he's a moron with a brain made of boron. Drawn to him magically. And through every moment of turmoil and moment of pain, through all of our misadventures, one thing remains. Facing pixies, bullies, and jarheads, I'll never be blue as long as I'm floating with you. Shoes smell like tar pits, and I don't wash my armpits. 
kind of naggy. Did you get the handcuff key? Yep, Operation Distract Dragon with a stupid gooey love song works every time. <laughs> I saw her and no other. <laughs> oh, and that part with the fingerprints. Fingers aren't shaped like that. That is love. <laughs> Come on, we've got to get down to Earth. Well, HP, now that Flappy has given us total control over Fairy World, what do you want to do with it? I'm thinking dull and gray. I was thinking gray and dull, but that's why you're the boss. Come on now, everyone! These are the unfundamental forest fairy godparentals who are now devoid of whimsy and of mirth. We're certifiably mental because these unfundamentals make the fairy bad as fun as giving birth. I'll bet it's even worse down there on Earth. Timmy? 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 All the arcades now close at three. Trampolines are bouncy free, and there's a pad on every knee. Everything's fine, far as I see, but I can't help but think out loud the things a kid had said somehow. My mom and dad would not be proud of the path I've taken in life. Have I been wrong? Have I been used? Should I embrace my nose and shoes? Except these gifts I want. I'm happy, Peppy. Not now. Our heads must be protected. Our bodies disinfected. This is just as I suspected. What would happen if this world was ruled by fundamental truly? All you parentals must be happy for your fun is truly. Truly is. But all these unfundamental seem quite instrumental to keep all of you rowdy kids in line. If you need us, we'll be playing the back nine. <laughs> Well, Sanderson, we've done it. One of our 37-year plans has finally given us control over all the magic. Yes, HP, if this place were any less fun, it would need a librarian. <laughs> well, floppy shoes, big red nose, I guess this is goodbye. <laughs> Hey, my floating rich friends! And just think, all we had to do to beat our fairy enemies was rip a clown child away from his super hilarious destiny and convince him that fun wasn't fun and that boring was fun. You'd have to be a clown to fall for that. A really dumb clown. Ha ha! Ha ha ha! That kid was right! They were using me! 
I'll show them who's a dumb clown. said that. But with the right amount of fun, anything's possible. Flappy Bob? That's right. Flappy Bob. <laughs> Clown! I was a clown at birth, but those two rich guys raised me to be a boring businessman. And if there's one thing boring businessmen know, it's how to find a loophole. Oh, oh, that's good. You get those cone domes down here, and I'll do the rest. And there's only one way to do that. Let's get fun. I like fun. I'm all about the fun now. Now, but it can all be undone. So grab your kites and water gun. My bike, my pool, this big sticky bun. It's not a crime to have your time in the sun. Kids just being kids, acting up and eating dirt. Kids just being kids, they could all get hurt. Kids just being kids, can keep those goons off. We're pixies, we finally rule all the Trixie. The time has come, the deal's going through. There's fun, stay there, yeah. we'll come to you. We're pixies, we're pixies. This is how we get our kicksies. Our plan has worked and they have lost. Let's ping on down and show who's the boss. The pixies, the pixies, the pixies. You two shout real loudly. It's your turn now to roar. You get to Much fun, those cone heads should be here at breakneck speed. A cow's ruined everything! At least that's what I thought! You kids ruined everything, that's the lie I bought. But someone, someone else, else was pulling strings, as far as we could tell. tell. But you and me can set us free. Everything ends well! Quite enough, Flappy. You lied to me. You lied to me for 37 years. You tricked me and kept me from being the super hilarious, if not somewhat creepy, clown I was destined to be. Yes, yes we did, duh. But we have an ironclad contract. Oh, I agree. Every word in this contract is totally binding, which is why I'd like to turn your attention to this. In return for making the world what you want, yada, 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 we get the power, yada, 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 Earth will be safe and fun, as defined by Flappy Bob. And guess what I define as fun now? Everything being exactly the way it's supposed to be. Oh, smoof. You know, you probably shouldn't have sent him to law school. You might have thwarted us this time, Turner, but mark my words, our next 37-year plan will not fail. When you're 47, you'll pay. <laughs> It's a crown again! A 
and still not a manly word to be found. Wow, that was extenuatingly manly. Way to go, Flappy, you did it. You brought fun back to Doomsdale. Yeah, I just wish my clown mother and clown father were here to see this. I'm sure wherever they are, they're proud. We're, we're so, so proud. proud. Huh? Huh? Flappy! We've, We've been, been looking, looking everywhere, everywhere for, for you. you! Except, well, this spot right here! We looked everywhere that could be clowns. Fast food restaurants, the circus, that hotel in Las Vegas. We spent a lot of time in Vegas. 36 years! They comped our room! We even checked the U.S. Congress! It was full of clowns, but none of them were fun! Mom! Dad! Yeah! And we'll never lose you again. But if we do, let's all agree to meet in Vegas. You found his parents for him? Hey, he said he wanted everything the way it should be. Well, pixies aren't the only ones who can exploit a loophole, you know. Cosmo! Here's your wand back. Oh, you saved the day and the fun. Which is weird because normally you're the one killing it. Stop it, Cosmo! See? And best of all, with the Pixies defeated and Flappy Bob on the path to fun, that means no more Camp Lernatorium. Right? Hey there, special guests. Welcome to Gary and Betty's Lernatorium. You're going to have the most fun-jucational, edgecarific summer of your lives! Uh, guys, fun time? Fun time! Uh, this is fun. I'll have Pedal all the way home. Doing all the things we thought we'd bore you. Like streets. That was really fun. And if we're kids, just being kids. Kids, just being kids. Running wild and running free. Kids, just being kids. I think we all agree. Kids, just being kids. Close our eyes and count to three. With some control parentally. Maybe we should try a six-week plan next time. <laughs>